Economia partidei Delgado, acolo este evadit corner de la Sorry, man. I don't know if I can recreate it. Oh, so let's have a go. Um, okay. Sex bomb. Sex bomb. You're my sex bomb. And you can give it to me when I need to come along. Welcome back to Valverde Broadcasting. My name is Duncan Casey and this leg crossing enthusiast on my left here is Richard Jackson. A little bit disturbed by the way you said come, as I'm sure people at home were as well. well. It, is, it is the song, isn't it? And that's yeah. what I was going for. All right, all right. <laughs> I knew. Cardiff Wales. <laughs> I knew Elvis. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Best friends with Elvis. We're discussing Tom Jones off now. Why we're not? not? We're Why not? not? Fucking hell, yeah. Sorry, it's for you. He is He's great. great. He is great. He's wonderful. I saw him live uh, a couple of months ago, a month ago. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's very good. Uh, but that's not why we're here today, believe it or not. Actually, we're here today to talk about The Simpsons. It's just a big overarching thing because it is something that is sort of interwoven, I think, throughout all of our stuff that we've done. Since we met. Yeah. Since that's one of the first things we've ever discussed. And I think it's a great, for a certain generation, it's a great bonding thing. I think it's something that, it's one of those things you can quote infinitely and people will get it. Um, and, you know, in, in most crowds of people of our age, if you go, Daniel Plan, someone's <laughs> Lisa go, needs braces. <laughs> exactly. So it's, it's, <laughs> it is one of those, it just, it just spoke to a whole generation and I, I don't know if it's still doing that because I feel like we've kind of diverted it, at it, some point. The, the bro you know, it's in a kind of zombie phase. It, right. It won't die. And members of the cast, like the lady who played Martin Prince has just died, so Martin Prince is out. Lady uh, played Edna Krabappel has died. Yeah. Like a lot of people, have, it's, they've, started, they've started to die. Phil it's Hartman. Because we've been on for, Phil yeah. Hartman quite early on. Yeah, yeah. It's been on for 30 odd years and, you know, the quality is not so great. I know Ivan's a big defender of Modern Simpsons, but I can't take that stand. I believe it picked up, I mean, I've only dipped in and out of modern stuff, the modern stuff, really in the last probably 15, 20 years almost. I've, I've dipped in and out. Um, but I, I believe it picked up a bit, yeah. But Matt Groening left when? Oh, like, God, the years 90s. ago. A bit like David Silverman. I think David Silverman passed away, didn't he? And yeah. quite a few kind of those instrumental names. Uh, Kind of came and went. You know, Conan O'Brien wrote uh, *Marge vs. the Monorail*, which is probably my favourite episode. One of the best. It's uh, you know, they're, the first ten years of *The Simpsons* have absolutely peerless, peerless writing. Like, well, I was I was thinking about this. What, what's <clears throat> so going back to its sort of inception? It started out on the uh, what's Tracy Ullman Tracy show. Ullman show. Thank mm. you. Uh, as this sort of natty little five ten minute segment cartoon about a, you know a dysfunctional family or more more an obstreperous young boy really that's what it was about and the goody two-shoes sister and it was much more focused on bart and lisa and certainly that first series i see it in the in, you sort of see it in comparison to or something like blackadder where it's like that first series is so different yeah and then what uh, with blackadder the first series wasn't that successful and they spent a lot of money on it it wasn't so they were like we have to retool this and make it better and they, they very scarcely repeat that first. Time. Yeah. Whereas with The Simpsons, I believe the first series was very successful. Vastly successful, yeah. So to sort of then go, right, we're now going to turn it, retool it into this, like, the focus is on Homer and... Well, I find that quite funny because we were of the age where, so we would have been five or six when it came out and it was this immense cultural phenomenon like mm. Bart Simpson was the new shorthand for kind of naughty kids and stuff. Dennis but, the Menace. But... Yeah, Dennis the Menace being... The, they're the weird parallel British and American Dennis's the menaces yeah. which occurred at the yeah. same time but that was kind of the shorthand and a lot of that carried over there's was like Huck Finn <laughs> yeah exactly and I was just like the, the, what I love about the British Dennis menaces he's a total psychopath yes <laughs> it's like I mean I remember in the Beano they even depict the army being scared of him and stuff right. like that. it's one of the, the things um but a lot of that kind of the catapult and all that yeah. came from both Dennis the Menace versions and, and, and stuff like that and that and, and it appealed to people of our age because he was supposed to be roughly our age and he was the one telling the teachers to go swivel and all that don't have a cow man mm. but I think not far into it Homer emerges as the most appealing character yeah and among Simpsons fandom he's now known as jerkass Homer 
Because, yeah, because there's a point in Joker's. which... Jokers! Like, yeah, yeah well, Homer, Homer, Homer initially was kind of sympathetic and dumb, but he just becomes an asshole at a certain point. He just... We're talking, keeping in mind with 30 seasons deep, but there's a point at which he's just a selfish prick. But there's right. a point at which, before that, he would do things wrong, but not well, really see, I maliciously. I guess I missed all that, because I, I, I always saw him as highly flawed and hubristic, but ultimately, like, loves his family tries to do the right thing and he's a sort of forest I mean he's very much a Forrest Gump character yes. and would you remember that more as where... per the book than the film I've had a lot of jobs in my life nuclear inspector and he lit yeah, astronaut yeah. and then like Marge walks out and it cross dissolves and he's still going like president yeah. homophobe <laughs> 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 and then he just well it's it. the Frank Grimes thing isn't it where Frank Grimes is just driven mad by him and Look his, at his, me, his, I'm Homer Simpson. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sticking my hands in a, what is it? Like the, it's an uninsulated electrical gun <laughs> or whatever. I, I can't die because I'm Homer. <laughs> <laughs> there is a, there's a, yeah, they're really good up to a point. I mean, again, the Simpsons kind of gone off a cliff in my view. But yeah. yeah. Like they, they, they were really good at reflexivity. They've like 13 years of solid stuff. Yeah, I mean, some say up to 10. I mean, yeah, you yeah. Know, there's a whole discussion. I'm in a bunch of Simpsons meme groups on Facebook. Yeah. Star Trek memes, drum and bass memes, and Simpsons memes are the nice. main reason I use Facebook these days. <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, yeah, that, that's they were really good at that self reflexive stuff because mm. they used to constantly make jokes about Because there's what Homer kind of goes like, because that's the kind of guy I am this week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Stuff like that. Um, you know, so they were really good at the kind of self reflexive stuff and, and knowing it's a sitcom, mm. you know. I think part of a lot of my frustration with it came when they started like suddenly, like you see Homer and Marge at school in the 1970s. Yeah. And then Homer's a member of a grunge band in the 90s. Yeah. And it's like the thing that South Park, for example, have done is just not think about that too much. Because South Park stays yeah. current, but it doesn't. I think, well, I think that, that certainly early on, yeah, because there's all that stuff, you know, and Bart's a little boy and he's just been born, he's swinging off that uh, washing line and stuff yeah. like that. And, it's, yeah. and that's all clearly in the sort of. 70s, I guess, or 60s. Well, Bart, I, mean, I mean, that would, it's something. supposed to be like, like the, yeah, it would have been like 1979, yeah. I guess. Like, so, so it's sort of, yeah, yeah, so like late 70s. Early well, 80s. no, not even that, because that would be when he was born. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be in the early 80s. I yeah, so Marge and Homer have sort of got together in the 70s. Dr. Hibbert has the high top fade. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I think well, there's one, like, when they talk, well, I think it's when they're pregnant with. Maggie, or they think they're gonna have another, and Bart wants to call it Cool Mo D. Yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. You know, it's all those kind of '90s hip hop references and stuff. And yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, yeah, and they never age, and it's like. But I'm sure those were written at a time when they didn't think they would be 30 years on, and like, would you do? This is quite often the way with this stuff. No yeah. one expected that would ever yeah, run yeah, and yeah. run and run. Quite a lot of stuff like that. You know, they they make these decisions because it's kind of like, well, this won't exist in a year. I think anyway. for me, the the thing that. The, the sweet spot of The Simpsons was when the writing was that beautiful play on, when they would use language in such a rich yet simplistic way. The, the Frogat thing is the thing that springs to mind, <laughs> which is, which is or, the, or the forest fire bear that's like, who is can it? prevent forest fire? You selected you. <laughs> Referring to me. Referring the to correct me. answer is you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so you can't win. Yeah, it's great. It's, 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 the, the, the world of the senses is full of these like awful logic traps <laughs> where you can't win, and 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 j just in terms of linguistic stuff, it's really funny. I kind of found that um, one thing I think that comes close to it. Have you ever watched uh, Thirty Rock? No, or, or no I both Thirty Rock and Kimmy Schmidt, mm. uh, which are both kind of Tina Fey things. Yeah, groups of writers. Mm -hmm. Tina Fey's like team or whatever, they're really good. Like you just don't see the punchlines coming and that's right. why it's funny because the Simpsons would just slap you around the face with something when you weren't expecting it. Per perfect example, one of my, one of my favorite episodes is Lisa the Iconoclast and there's that uh, with Donald Sutherland as the, the <laughs> curator of that museum. And and, and again, it, it's it's talking about massive things and actually things that are very relevant to that. Often there's a lot spoken now about the prescience of the Simpsons as well, but this is about a guy who can't let, he's got an identity, his identity is tied up with the allegiance to Jeremiah the Springfield. History of Springfield, a who, certain version of the history. Yeah, of course, who turns out to be, Lisa proves him to be a pirate or something called yes. Hans <laughs> Sprungfeld or whatever. And, and he bans her He's rather than... literal silver tongue. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and he bans her rather than deal with it. And the way he bans he goes like, you are banned from this facility for, what does he say? You, your children, and your children's children for one month. <laughs> 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 That's my favorite thing. 
like just, he's just shouting at her, like, and it's just like little things like that are just so beautiful. because it's a very it's a very cynical view of the world. Yeah, because everyone's really stupid and they form mobs at the drop of a hat. Apart from and Lisa, they, obviously. Apart from Lisa, yeah. I will say actually, Lisa is my least favorite character. I, really, I find her she passes this point where she's just really fucking insufferable and right. self-righteous and it really grinds me after a point. And it's not, it's just the way they ended up writing her. I don't know if she just got bored. Well, there are episodes, that. yeah, well, again, what frustrates me is I think, perhaps it's a handoff to a different writing team, but it's like, that. it seemed earlier on, like, and I'm talking in the first sort of 10 series, seasons, whatever you want to call them, um, they became aware of that. There's that episode where they go to the to the beach, to Flanders' beach house, and like she makes those friends and she's trying yeah, to be like cool. The cool friends. And she sort of learns to just be herself and she learns like not to be so uptight all the time. And it's like there, there were episodes where she was kind of she she did she had some self awareness around that. And it's kind of like that, yeah, probably got jettisoned after I, I do think it became a sort of pastiche of that didn't have that depth at all after a while. Well yeah, because yeah. initially she was kind of like this dorky but sweet, well intentioned kid. Mm. Um, you know, and, and she had to learn hard lessons and she learned about grief and stuff like Billingham's Murphy and just wanting to be an artist and not fitting in with your family, not fitting yeah. in with school and that was really sweet. Yeah. But then it became her just going like, uh, I don't know, Nobel Prize winning author Jeffrey Jefferson. She's and always the one who recognises mm, the celebrity. That's No the- dad, veganism and it's just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. Fucking that, all that stuff. And yeah. just get home as an asshole, you know, and stuff. Yeah, like that. I guess I didn't stick around long enough to see. I mean, Homer was always like very self-centered, obviously, but it's like he, you know, it's it's he's 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 the kid, isn't he? I mean, like, I'm like that with my wife sometimes. It's that sort of we're missing the cook up, like it's all that like oh, art, like let me do a thing, and it's like that's. I can't remember. Oh no, yeah, I went to I I attended a class like a comics class, and I can't remember the name of the guy who taught it down in London. Uh, he's a really great guy. He made just a really great comment on the design of Homer Simpson and okay. something. In, so, are you familiar with the concept of measuring people in heads? Yes. Yeah. So the average adult should be about six heads, and, right. and then uh, fashion models are sometimes seven or eight because they're elongated. Okay. Children are something like four. Yeah. Is proportion. Homer Simpson is proportioned like a child. Uh, so okay. his design and it's changed because yeah. initially he was when he was kind of Walter Matthau Homer. He yeah. Was kind of yeah. A bit longer and stuff. Um, Homer Simpson, the visual cue from the design of Homer Simpson is that he's childlike because he's bald. He looks like a giant baby and yeah. he's proportioned like a baby and he's got kind of thick arms. <laughs> That's and he's very quite interesting. Very so good. it's a good bit of design yeah. cue. Because yeah. his proportions are very similar to Bart. Yeah. You know, so yeah, he's, yeah. I mean, and you know, like he's, he's childlike, isn't he? Well, he tends to hang around with Bart a lot as well. There's that sort of. <laughs> when they're thing. doing schemes. <laughs> <laughs> My retirement <laughs> grease. grease scheme, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the big um, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, what? Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's, well, that leads, yeah, so talking to Walter Matthau and all that stuff, certainly the voice acting talent in it is very good. And it's it was nice to see how. You see, you see, obviously, like I, I watch a lot of the actors' interviews and stuff, talking about how they came about and the voices and everything like that. And um, yeah, as you say, he was based on Walter Matthau, and he's very much Walter Matthau in the earlier stuff. He's very like, "Come here, boy," and all that sort of stuff. And then it, I don't know. What, again, it's just I guess because he spent a lot of time with it. But Dan Castellaneta sort of turned him more into can you for me, and he goes, and then Grandpa's just a sort of yeah, like yeah, version of not? that. Yeah, um, <laughs> old man shout. He, old man yells at Cloud. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> turn it. Um, <laughs> I was wearing an onion on my belt, which is a style of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I say to my dad when he's just going off. <laughs> yeah, which was the style of the time. Um, and um, yeah, so and, and obviously Hank Azaria doing. I mean, like Mo is is a is a gravelier version. He had a young Al Pacino thing going on. Yeah, and uh, uh, Wiggum is Edward G. Robinson. Yeah, he made him look like Edward G. And yeah, even make reference to that and stuff. I mean, it's a really yeah. amazing. Frank is just Jerry Lewis. It just, and they even did. Jer- they even had Jerry Lewis come in and play the essentially play his father. Right. As the night professor and yeah, yeah. I think that's the problem though. Is when it, when it gets to the point where the thing it's riffing on turns up in the show because it's popular to do it, that's where you. The Simpsons has long since cannibalised itself. Yeah. And I think that's a real problem. I, I remember. Think. I remember ages ago they did a 24 episode and it was really bad because it was just like, like jumping on a. Hey, board. remember remember the time Homer was an astronaut? Like, yeah. Because yeah. there was one like uh, the clip show one sorry for the clip show yeah, yeah, yeah. we've got stories for years and years <laughs> like marge is a robot and that's all come to pass yeah like, and it's what i find i hate it when you turn 
on Channel 4 and it's like, the Simpsons are going to Belgium. Yeah, or, and it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so this is going to be jokes about like what, Freak sauce, or, you know what I mean? Yeah, the, yeah. those Man, international on French fries. <laughs> pa, but in Belgium, it's the home of you know. Yeah, and, and yeah, it's yeah. like it, those feel like a Wikipedia entry that's been turned into a script. They're very yeah boilerplate and not yeah. I I know I, I agree. I do think I I I think it was. I know why they kept it going. I get it, but it's I just think it's and I guess it's still a going concern because they they keep you know Fox is not a studio that I would expect. Well, now to. it's under the auspices of Disney. Yeah, it? it'd be so interesting to see like what, a, what goes on there. But well, it seems to be Fox. Have, it's, as long as it made money, they were never going to cancel it, and they don't seem to be particularly interested because it was the, the Simpsons changed the landscape mm. because the world of you had the Flintstones and stuff before, but the world of animated sitcoms. Has owes everything to the Simpsons, Absolutely. which South Park acknowledged in that episode, yeah, yeah, really well, and I think it really placed all those players nicely on the board. Same with uh, Family Guy, you know, there was that. There's an episode of The Simpsons, and it's a later one, but it, this is what I, this is when I when I'm talking about newer Simpsons actually being funny. Sometimes there's one where they go to Italy or whatever, and they they get to the border, and there's something about like laws there or whatever, and the guy's like. You can't. He was like, you know, th- th- like almost like a Ten Commandments thing. He's got this book, and it's like, and he goes, "Play Jurismo," and it's got a picture of family. Yeah, picture, yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. Right. It's like that's. A, but and they did a crossover. Episode a, isn't stuff. there a joke about uh, they say something about pale imitations and then Peter Griffin? Yeah, yeah, as well. Like, yeah. So it's and they were aware of it. I know that like um, the Family Guy also riffed on that. It seems stuff. like there's a friendly kind of. Oh, definitely. Yeah. They, they did depict Marsh Simpson being raped by Quagmire once, which right. was kind of like mm, that's really icky. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well done, good one, guys. <laughs> I don't like Family Guy. I've made, my, I've made that clear. That's a discussion for another time. But fair enough. Yeah. Let's talk about some favourite episodes then, because that is something that you know. March versus the monorail. Classic. Is is like all conquering. Lyle Landley. <laughs> Just everything about that is is kind of drifted into cliche, but the writing on it is, and this is everything that makes a good Simpsons episode. Because mm. like here's an example of a joke that comes out of nowhere. Yeah. It's, when they've, oh no, we're too late. I never should have stopped for that Stop haircut. That. And he's gone. And yeah. it's just like, what? Because it makes what? no sense. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Of yeah. That, the, um, you know. Batman's uh, aside. Batman's aside. Yeah, yeah. That one, that I call the big one, Biden. Biden. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, and Lyle Landley's uh, plans. It's just him running off with money. And like, when he's in the plane, it's like, there, row 3F. Or, yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah. It's like, I stop over in Brocktonville. Or whatever. It's like, <laughs> No, no, no! <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, he's literally it's, sat in the plane with all his money, isn't he? It's one of the most finely crafted 20 minutes of comedy. Yeah. I, I could live for a thousand years and never write anything that good. I, mean, yeah. I, I honestly think it's a peerless episode of television. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 so there's a bunch for me. A lot of them come off of the... Because of the, I had a video, I'm sure I've talked about this before, but I had a video when I was a kid that had four episodes on it. And that, because I watched them over and over again, I also recorded some off TV that I did that with as well. But um, the uh, Lisa the Iconoclast is great because it's also got um, uh, Town Crier Homer in it. Yes. You know, when he, when he, when he usurps Flanders. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's like, yes. oh yay, oh yay. He's like, you Town Crier. Like, oh Town Crier proclaimed crappy by all. <laughs> And then when he's at the end, he's in the parade and Wiggum's like, let him ring, boy, let the man ring, or whatever. All that stuff is just so, so, yeah. And then they unearth the, his, they, they dig up his tomb and then, mm. you know, he, it's all about covering things up and yeah. the narrative of a place being more important. And it's got that shonky docu-drama thing of like when he's pushed in, he's got the, the stuntman <laughs> on the horse in the, in the um, bearskin cap or whatever and then like, yeah. and then it cuts to, um, it's Troy McClure, isn't it? Or yeah, going exactly. like, ah, ah. And, then it's a, and then there's someone wheels him in on a, on a yak or whatever and then, <laughs> then, then boom comes in and goes out and they're cromulent and... Oh <laughs> my God, that is an amazing, uh, what is it? Is Embiggen. Uh, Embiggen is a perfectly cromulent one. <laughs> I love the indignance in that performance. Well, because so. it's like, it's also like, there's another thing about like how this lie has infected the town and you know, mm. it, it's just, mm. um, and it's about little, lo- I mean, again, it's it's something that's sort of almost lost now, but it's like local legend, local, being proud of a local thing. There's, uh, what's, is it, um, Ogdenville, not Ogdenville. Uh, Shelbyville. Shelbyville, that's What's the, 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 I don't remember the name of the episode, the Lemon Tree episode. Yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's such an amazing episode. They I steal could, the lemon. And the fact that everyone has like a kind of, like a, there's a lazy analogue for everyone yes. in, in the, the, the Homer version is just standing there proudly, <laughs> <laughs> he just goes, 
<laughs> he starts that, crying. That, there's a, there's a thing, there's a, in, <laughs> in Simpsons meme land, there is something known as lemon posting, which okay. is where you put the lemon, you can just adapt that lemon face <laughs> to endless Simpsons characters. The, the, the lemon. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things ever. He's like, <laughs> I'm crying now. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, that one's I, is so it, good. I, I, I always get this wrong. Is it Twenty One Short Stories about Springfield, which of yeah. course has steamed hams in it? Which, yes. Again, it's a shame I participated in this because many of you would have seen my steamed hams T-shirt, but um, <laughs> that's been run into the ground by memes. <laughs> yeah. But as, again, as a scene of comedy, mm. and this is an excellent example of The Simpsons kind of recognizing its own traits. The whole tension between. Chalmers, Chalmers and, and, yeah, yeah. and uh, Seymour has been that he constantly lies to him about some minor thing and the lie gets out of control. So they've gone like, <laughs> okay, how can we distill this into the most ridiculous three minutes you've ever seen? Yeah. Two, two minutes. I mean, again, it's and it's that, really yeah. short. Like, yeah, it's yeah. a wonderfully honed bit of high farce, you know, the kind of which you would see. It's kind of like what Frasier's whole remit was, right? right, it's, right it's condensed yeah. into this one scene and it just gets stupider and stupider. And, stupider. <laughs> yeah. and of course, the whole point is Seymour does all this stuff and Chalmers always on one level believes him. Yeah, yeah. And it ends up with his house on fire. <laughs> but Chalmers, Chalmers thinks it's a Aurora Borealis. Yeah, yeah. Seymour, the house is on fire. <laughs> it's just the Northern Lights, mother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Walking out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Steamed hands. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it is that that is a good one. No, I see. That is the, 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 the X Files one. Oh, well that's is, fantastic. Is yeah, it can be, it's also got like gag where uh, <laughs> also great Simpsons meme fodder where uh, David Duchovny's FBI ID is oh, yeah. <laughs> in the <posting laughs> pouch. Well, because wasn't he? He was, he was a sex addict. I mean, that's what a lot of Californication is about. Is that sort of it's actually riffing on him as a like he had. Oh, and he was in the Red Shoe Diaries. Which yeah, of course. Kind yeah, of yeah, vaguely yeah. erotic TV show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that 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 has all the the um, obviously the Mr. Burns stuff where he has like uh, Mr. Burns is a character that's just endlessly being re reinvented. And... Mr. Burns is Teddy Bear. Mr. Yeah. Burns' son with Roddy Dangerfield. Yeah, yeah, I fucking yeah. love that one. That's Ooh. amazing. <laughs> Put it back. She's not done. Put it back. In. <laughs> She's not done yet. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, what else? There's tons of. Them. It's tough to call up. The the, the 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 um, the one with the candy convention. Obviously, the the Homer. Was it called Homer Badman? The one he's done for sexual harassment. And oh my God! With the gummy to Milo. The gummy Venus. The yeah. gummy to Milo. <laughs> <laughs> this, is like the, this is the world's sourest gumball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Who stole yeah, so sour because Professor Frink is contained in a magnetic field or whatever. And it's just like, wow, where's the boy? It's like, what, what's the one where they. The, the wax lips guy. It's like, the, the, the candy of a thousand uses. He's like, name one. Like, where he goes, like, name one. He's like, well, for one, a human. Or name five. Or he goes, well, for one, a humorous substitute for your own lips. Go on. I'm needed in the basement. It's like, <laughs> It's the car thing as well. This exhibition is closed. Yeah, because it's like, those aren't crash dummies or whatever, because <laughs> they start getting uh, up. Yeah. <laughs> so there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a later era. That's the Mr. Joke. Plow episode. Oh, is that the Mr. Plow? Yeah, yeah which again Mr. is a Plow, classic. Really classic. Homer in space. Yeah. Bar Barney's, uh, Barney's ad. It's like yeah. super high budget, pretentious, like black and white thing. And then Senor, what the Spanish singer, whatever name was singing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Senor yeah. Plow. <laughs> Senor Plow no es macho. And it's something like, means he's not as much of a man. And, whatever, was, uh, and it drinks. <laughs> what exactly is Moe's? Moe's is a pornography store. Yeah. I was buying pornography. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're going to get in so much trouble for this. This is just you quoting The Simpsons. Yeah, well... <laughs> fuck, we've been doing it for the last seven years, so fuck Sorry. it. Right. Oh, we've got, oh, we got six minutes left. Can I More just, quoting. Can you keep talking? Because mm. I might have a... I might have a personal artefact here. Oh. Very good. Yeah. Uh, Entertain the boys and girls, <laughs> what, uh, like, what Simpsons voices can I do? Should I do some Simpsons? I, you know, what's a good homer? Yeah, push you down, son. I love that. Um... Uh, back here. Oh no! It's more on discipline crap. Somewhere <laughs> in this room, I have the first VHS ever bought. Is it a Simpsons VHS? It's a Simpsons VHS. No, it's right back home. Well, shut my The Mr. Sparkle episode. That's another great Mr. Sparkle. Mr. Sparkle. Mr. Sparkle. You want me to send you a video? Whatever. He goes. Uh, yeah. That 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 whole thing. That's towards the sort of end of 
There's there's one really random one where they go to New York and they, he's in the World Trade Center and he needs to pee in the so the, the parking tickets. Are yeah, there. and that's that's a, that stands out in that season as being very odd and not not at all like the rest of the. Other that's stuff. part of this bizarre conspiracy theory of the Simpsons having access to the future because there's a poster that says uh, nine days in New York for eleven dollars or something like that. It says nine eleven. Oh god. Yeah. Whatever. And Donald Trump as president was depicting the Simpsons. There are tons and tons and tons. Yeah. What you have to remember is it's been going for twenty five episode seasons for thirty seasons. So yeah. it's the stopped clock that's right twice a day. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. What do you think about the film? I quite like the film. I quite like it. I, it's not as good. It doesn't work as well when you try and stretch it out. It's essentially a, a stretch. That, like the, the whole, it's just Homer losing his family and getting them back again in a, just in yeah. a major way. And it's really not weird that they show Bart's dick. Yeah, that, what's that all about? It's I, that I think again in that sort of like almost ju- that's their jump the shark moment in a way. It's that sort of like right, you've just. Mm. I don't know. I quite like because I've always appreciated. I always wanted someone to do the joke where you know the Austin Powers thing where you cover up the dick. Yeah. I've always wanted the joke where you just show the dick because that's funny. But when it's like a little boy's dick. When it's Bart like, Simpson. I mean, because yeah. bear in mind they do it beautifully. There's that episode where Homer and Marge go running away from the police or whatever. Naked, yes, and right. In the like, hot air yeah. balloon, and then like. Homer's hanging from the thing and he hits it like they're, they're in that church and he's like, everyone look and praise God's glass <laughs> roof and he just goes, boom! <laughs> like, and he's just like screaming, he's like, and, uh, praise God's mar- mar- my marble floor. And it's like, isn't, uh, keep looking old, down. And he's like, just kind of like, Old Gil's grill is in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I only had five <laughs> payments left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> On a grill that he's living in Ohio. <laughs> he's living in Ohio. I mean, that's, that's Jack Lemmon, isn't it? That's basically yeah. um, Glenn Gale, Shelley the Ross Machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, from Glen Gary Grimmer. Well, it, um, the movie, I find it difficult to rewatch. I really liked it at the time. I think, because they got a lot of the old writers back, there are fits and starts. I mean, because for example, I put it on, it's like, oh, Green Day. And I have to get through that. Yeah. And the Irish Bono kid, and it's like, oh. But there are loads of really funny, really classic era Simpsons gags in it. For example, one of the really dark ones is the, the bomb disposal robot. He goes like, pressure, pressure, pressure. And he grabs Wiggum's <laughs> gun and shoots himself in the head. And then yeah. Wiggum goes, he always talked about it. I never thought he'd actually do it. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and then a- that immediately conjures the idea of him hanging out with a robot that's talking about suicide. <laughs> <laughs> just- well, that's, that's another, yeah, that, that speaks to a whole other thing with, with the, the, the weird uh, thing they have with automation and stuff, in, 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 like, or, uh, like autonomous stuff. There's the thing with the house, which is which is Pierce Brosnan's voice, or yes, starts of off course. with his voice or something, uh, and then there's um, which is Hal essentially. And it's like Hal and Demon Seed, isn't it? Yeah, and then there's, uh, there's the, one of my favourite things is that Alan Key robot that's like Tungsten. <laughs> yeah, and you're not you're still not sure if it's a guy messing with Bart or not, but he's like they found me in a meteor. I need tungsten to live. Tungsten. <laughs> it's like chasing it around. Because it's an Alan Key. And he's welcoming people to that Home Depot and he's like, hi, I'm Alan Key, or whatever, like, like this way. For what I like about that is because there's no way a person would fit in that costume. <laughs> no, I and, and that's when the Simpsons, I think one of the problems with the Simpsons is when it really sort of breaks kayfabe, so to speak. Like, Because recently, apparently, they did an episode where Kang and Kodos kidnap the Simpsons. Okay. But it's not Halloween or anything. Uh, it's like an incontinuity kind uh, of thing. And it's a bit like, ah, I don't know, that. And the uh, the Simpsons specifically made a joke about uh, the great gazoo from the Flintstones. Yeah, uh, okay. That being the little alien. That, yeah. Uh, a little green alien, alien only Homer can see. <laughs> making a joke about, isn't it awful when these things run on too long and have shit ideas? And yeah. again, you know, we've yeah. got stories for years. Like, yeah, but they have become that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, the hero or live long enough to become him. Exactly, it's a joke that I didn't think they thought would play out. Very quickly, I wanted to touch on. Oh yeah, so uh, we're really damn near out of time. I just very quickly wanted to touch on the idea that, that you know most Simpsons episodes reset continuity, so most of them states quo is re-established by the end. That's Unless you're Maud Flanders. Exactly. That was one thing I was going to say. Is that there's this one weird thing that stands out from all about them is that they they killed off a character because they killed off Doctor Nick and then brought him back. They? they kill him in the movie, but then he's back apparently. Right, right. So, okay. uh, and, and obviously, well, and the comic book guy, obviously, gets hit by the nuke, doesn't he? He comes down the street after me. Oh, but that's oh, a wasted melee. That's a that... Treehouse Horror. Oh, of course they do. Sorry, I am I, legend. What did I think they? that was in the film? Sorry, you're right. Yes, yeah, I see. I'm an idiot. Um, yeah. So, but that, but that is something that's that's like generally throughout most of the episodes, even though they're episodic, and there are things that do carry over, mm. like Homer in space or whatever. There's always a status quo reset at the end, which is yeah, really and that's something that they've had their 
thing kind of both ways, which is very strange. And mm. there is a video that tries to assemble a Simpsons continuity, which is very interesting. Yeah, okay. It's called Simpsons Mysteries, that channel. Go check that out. Well, talking about that, let's reset our own status quo and say thank you very much for watching Valverde this week. And uh, please check out our Twitter, Instagram, uh, Red Bubble. Uh, we don't have Instagram. There's no Instagram. I have an Instagram. Post. He has an Instagram. I have an Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what else? Uh, tw uh, Twitch. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Patreon is the big one. This is going well. This is going well. This is why no one know. watches this channel, Doug. Because <laughs> we don't Sorry. know what we're doing. Um, uh, you've just done a really cool thing that I don't think you can talk about. Can you talk about it? Big, big Maybe. We'll do it another time. We'll talk about yeah. it. Uh, I'm, uh, Wicked Witches. Erica, go by then. Uh, and thank you very much. And we'll see you again next next week for some more Shinan again. Support your 7th or 8th favourite YouTube channel by buying crap, tat, junk, hogwash and filth at redbubble.com slash people slash Valverde shop.